morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Erica Landstrom. I'm the Director of Governance, Membership and Learning at the International Aid Society. And uh, on behalf of the IAS, um, I'm very happy to be here today with, with Lord Felix Bauer and um, to present to you an IAS Educational Fund meeting. Um, I'll take this opportunity to talk a bit about the Educational Fund. Can you have the next slide, please? Um, just to give you a brief explanation of what the Educational Fund is. So the, um, this is a fairly new program uh, that was launched in 2016 and uh, with the aim to make scientific discoveries and continuing education opportunities more accessible to uh, frontline HIV um, professionals, including um, IS members. The uh, Education Fund has four components. One of them is the, the meeting that we are at today. We have um, meeting, meetings such in, in different regions, um, workshops and symposia following the, the, the different IS conferences, so the International AIDS Conference and the IS Conference on HIV Science. Um, since the program kicked off in 2016, we have organized um, 17 meetings as, as such, and if you just click on the, the next slides and click a few times, you will see that uh, we've been in, in many places all over the world. And if you click a few more, this is where we are today. Um, so I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the, the partners that we've been working with, um, the IAC um, linkages and of course the, the Ministry of Health as well. And uh, also our donors, we health care uh, without whom we wouldn't be here today. Um, next slide, please. Um, no, if you go back one. Just go back one. Um, other components to this program is a scholarship program for the, the IS conferences. And we are happy to announce that we will be able to support at least 130 people to go to the IS 2019 conference in Mexico next year. So we do have a scholarship um, program that also um, is, is larger than the IS Educational Fund and the, the um, application deadline for um, scholarship applications will be the 24th of January um, next year. So if you're interested in applying, uh, please visit, visit the IS website. Um, other components um, include uh, online resources from conference sessions. So we, we try to make sure that people who can go to the conferences can also access them online and we do have um, certain sessions subtitled into two different languages. And last but not least, we have a fairly new component, which is the, the Mark Weinberg Fellowship Program that started in 2018 and uh, with an aim to com contribute to improve the quality of HIV service delivery in resource limited settings. So we have two year fellowships for six clinicians from Sub-Saharan Africa who will spend uh, one year at an African institution and then one year in Europe. Next slide, please. Um, just wanted to also take this opportunity to flag that if you're not already an IS member, because IS is more than um, just a meeting organizer, we have a um, membership of more than 12,000 people from all over the world, so more than 160 countries. If you're interested in signing up as an IS member during this meeting, um, you will have a discount. Um, as, as was said before, uh, Nova and I will be at the table over there and, and we will be able to um, answer any questions you might have um, about IS membership. So we will look forward to um, having conversations with you and, and I hope that you will find um, this meeting useful. Thank you.